moving on to better things. <laughs> we get to try our new sausages. And you can see the burnt up patches here where I guess the soil layer is thin and the sun has just done this. Yay! Lambing is done. <laughs> the last. Hello. It's one of those, I think, simple pleasures that really means a lot, being able to feed your sheep and lambs something decent. We've had a bit of a worrying day really with the cows, so they seem to be very agitated by the flies. So we've been down to Bakewell and got some fly stuff that you pour on, which I'm dem Nick's demonstrating how we're doing that. Um, and the the calf, the bull calf that was born last night, was very dopey, getting covered in flies. So we've also sprayed some citronella. Um, on the calves and just move them to the shade but yeah the cows just seem the cows are irritated i think by the heat and the flies um so we're just doing what we can i've also got a garlic and molasses bucket so hopefully that might help as well uh this sort of prolonged heat i think they're just getting fed up with it as as we are too actually if you find a mother then i might be able to get her just without a notice shall i try and distract her So we're watching the cow and calf a bit more closely to make sure that the calf is feeding, that she's letting it feed. The 15th of June and yay, lambing is done. <laughs> Better late than never. And this is the last, <laughs> the last, hello. What's been going on with the cows today is, so the heat has been really full on and today there's been less wind uh, and the cows with the calves have just been really agitated, sort of running around the field. I think they just had enough of the heat and flies bothering them. So um, they kind of left the calves and didn't seem to be concerned about the calves, even when we went right up to them. So I was a bit worried. Um, so I called the vet and I asked her for some advice and then, got hold of this pour on stuff uh, which should help help with the problem um, but it's definitely not nice to it's not nice to witness them being like that um, and I'm kind of counting down the days until hopefully this sort of heat tends to um, just die back a little bit and maybe get some slightly different change in the weather because it's it's intense I think the animals are finding it tough Little lamb looks so tiny compared to the others. The fields are yellow and 
need topping and dry and I just can't uh, can't believe how dry it is after how things were but anyway that's where we are hopefully things will change and in a few weeks it'll start to pick up just having a check round everyone So it's actually going cloudy. We've not had much cloud here at all for a, a great deal. Um, so even clouds at this point are a novelty. Today we have picked up all of our beef. So it's come from Highfield House Buttery in Chesterfield. And they've actually put Dale Farm on it for us, which is really nice. It all looks good and it's coming like these trays. So, going to put it all away and hopefully sell some to the customers, the campers. And what you are looking for, for good flavour, I guess, is this nice marbling throughout. And it does look to have got some nice marbling. Ribeye. Mm. And here we have the top side. All sorts. Looking good. Today's a good day because it's trying to rain. So changing the weather, which is amazing. And behind me, we get to try our new sausages, beef and tomato sausages made um, freshly. And we're gonna be selling them to the campers. So obviously taste testing is a very important job. Nick always appears when there's food around. Mm. Lovely. Plan them. They are, you can taste the tomato. They feel quite soft on the inside. The mm -hmm. casings are nice. They're natural yeah. casings, aren't they? Uh, oh, it's hot. <laughs> but yeah, lovely. Very nice. We are rounding up, moving on to fresh grass. And there's a few that just need some attention. So we'll use that as the opportunity to, to do that. It's a little bit cooler today. It's tried to rain, but it's now warming up again. So hopefully that's not all we were due. Uh, but the grass looks ter terrible on this side now, really depressing side. So it'll be nice to move the ewes onto something a bit fresher. Um, but then really, we haven't got anything else in reserve then. trailer trick so the lamb goes in there and the ewe then jumps in after and we hide and then shut them in hello bambi so so yeah so are we going to just mark them up when we've moved them we're marking them up when we've moved them so yeah um <laughs>
on to better things. <laughs> Sounds for very late. <laughs> And that is actually one of the dirtiest tails that there is. They're pretty much all clean. So hopefully when we're shearing this week, we can hopefully shear next week. We can also have a look at any lambs with dirty tails. And you can see the burnt up patches here where I guess the soil layer is thin and the sun has just done this. And it's not uncommon at all, especially in limestone areas, that this is what happens. And the grass looks poor. We also have some nice beef burgers, which we will have to sample. Nick's excited. So today, yeah, the beef, uh the sheep move the sheep onto some fresher grass and still feeling the heat tired So we are approaching the longest day in the Northern Hemisphere, the summer solstice, and it's Saturday night. I'm just come up to enjoy this lovely evening with the sheep and lambs as they've been let out onto the new grass. And it's one of those, I think, simple pleasures that really means a lot, being able to feed your family, I suppose, in my case, feed your sheep and lambs something decent, brings you a sense of satisfaction. So out on the the newer grass tonight and i've just laid on the grass and listened to the sound of the sheep nibbling away and a few of the lambs playing a little bit and enjoying this lovely evening <laughs> <laughs> 